Welcome to Spice Candies. We're making cherry and maple toffee corn syrup free. No special tools. Let's get started. So this is our mass. I forgot to push the camera, so uh, we don't have footage of pouring it. Silly me. These are the tests, basically speaking. This was the first one, round one, 10 degrees. Very soft, rich in flavor. The 120-ish, ish, is more flexible, and yet really nice. For um, cake frosting or something like that, that would do wonderfully. This is slightly stronger than that, it's about 130 or 120 plus, I don't know exactly, but it still sticks, so you don't want that, you need, you need it to let go. Actually, I should have stopped here, I think I overcooked it. And this is stretchy, this is really nice. And try and do that. And stretch it. I think we have reached around 140, which is going to basically ruin the toffee. We'll have to redo that. Let's see what we get out of that. Oh yeah, it's turning brighter as there is included into the mix. The tips are not as bright, so just fold them in the middle and just keep folding. That's very sticky. So when I tested it, it was too sticky, so I thought you still got some ways to go, although we're getting there. Apparently we got there, so kind of missed it. Overshot. You gotta take it slow. I thought I was taking it slow. <laughs> Okay, you can see it shimmering. Let me try that. Mmm, really sticky, even though I pulled it. This is the next batch. It snaps. Alrighty. Mmm, so we have a hard candy, basically speaking. Although, I thought how much flavor stayed from that candy because Sherry seriously dislikes heat, high heat. So it keeps the lovely color, the reddish color, but it doesn't keep the flavor. So let's try that. All I got to cut it with is this cheap knife <laughs> because that's what we got. So let's try that. Let's try and break it. Oh yeah. It's, uh, it's actually behaving nicely. I'll have to do it in steps because it's a really tiny knife. Just got hot enough for the candy to react to it. And heat, it get, heat it up and stick to it. And I can't get cut with that. This is a spreading knife, not a cutting knife. Although it sort of has teeth, but I'm just cooling it off like that on the marble.
I think it's the fruits that are ultra sticky but I'm actually quite shocked I was managing this cut because <laughs> it was uh, interesting to say the least okay I'll let it cool off see you in a minute let's see how it does it's oh, still so flexible it's actually cold I don't think we can pull it yeah it's cold it's some of it snaps let's try this one it's semi sticky it's hard but it tries to cling to the teeth okay we so we're somewhere between toffee and hard candy I really can't get this out of my mouth because it just coated my teeth and it's really really sticky I guess we can pull it a bit it will snap I can feel it there we go okay, terrors just like next to my right thumb and it's basically on the verge of fragile fragileness so if you break it impact it, it breaks but if you pull it sort of pulls so so this is somewhere between toffee and uh, hard candy now I have no doubt that if and when we would have gotten to hard candy this would actually lose its flavor you can already feel that's a lot less um, tastier now if you use another candy this is going to be okay I guess you would get to it with cherry no way and since cherry is my only current jam um, we'll have to let go of that but we'll try it in another way we won't uh, you know we won't be despaired just by one accident that's the life of candy making that's the fun of it let's get going one of my subscribers suggested we try maple jam and well sugar let's give it a go I've not noticed for quite some time that the flexibility that toffee has is due to corn syrup so the result we got is not a surprising one even the, at the right temperature the toffee was way too sticky so let's add about uh, half of that okay yeah, so a maple syrup because I don't want to give it too much of a maple flavor and right that's it the rest will fill with jam there we go and again this, because this is cherry I'm going only for um, the toffee not not really after anything else because I know it will burn up and lose its flavor about half a cup of water to allow the sugar to dissolve properly and away we go
that's it. We got some really nice candies. Really good suggestion from my subscriber. Thank you. I'm not gonna say any names. If he wants to, he can jump along and say hi. You're welcome to. I wanted to say two things about this. This is definitely toffee. It's stretchy. And you see how uh, it hardens a bit while it dries off. But still, in the mouth, it's really, really stretchy. It's nice. Because it doesn't have any margarine in it, like commercial toffee, it's not going to be as um, non-sticky, you could say, to your teeth. It will bind a bit, not too much. But that's the nature of real toffee. Funny enough, you feel more of the maple than of the jam. And let me remind you, we had twice the amount of jam than the maple. So it's kind of funny. But still, it's a nice combo. It's really, really a nice combo. Next up, I think we'll do some maple and uh, honey. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a sweet day. Do try and make candies for your loved ones, especially for your kids, of course. Have a good time. Take care. Be well. I'll be seeing you soon. Have a sweet day.